what you can see on my screen right now is anaconda navigator so what is anaconda navigator it is nothing but a bundle of different softwares okay what are these softwares so if you can see we can launch a jupiter lab from here we can launch a jupiter notebook from here we can launch spider from here so what are these different different things these are nothing but different different packages or different different softwares using which you can write your data science program or code if you can see you can launch r studio also so i have not installed you can install and launch okay out of all these components what you see i am writing code always using a jupyter notebook okay so in this video i will explain you how you can use jupyter notebook efficiently to write python programs so i have used jupyter notebook in many of my videos in past some of you requested me to explain how we you can use jupyter notebook efficiently that is what will be topic of this video welcome to unfold data science my name is aman and i am a data scientist to start with how to launch jupyter notebook okay so i can come here and click launch but every time you do not want to go to start and launch navigator itself so to launch a navigator you have to go here and say anaconda navigator but you do not want to do every time right so how to launch jupyter notebook is you can just go here start and say notebook okay if i click here jupyter notebook will get launched okay other way of launching jupyter notebook is you can go here to anaconda prompt okay so anaconda prompt if you can see it's nothing but a command line interface okay so i have already opened this anaconda prompt here okay if you see and here if i go and say jupyter notebook okay jupyter notebook if i click this if i enter this my notebook is getting triggered in the background okay so i am showing you from step 0 how do you trigger the notebook from the background this is one option and other option is just going to start and starting the notebook okay so my notebook has started here now this is how it will look like in the beginning so what you can say what you can do you can go to new and create a new folder so let me create a new folder here if i scroll down i will see that new folder somewhere so untitled folder like if you can see here untitled folder seconds ago so this is the folder i created in this untitled folder first thing i will do is i will change the name so change the name and call it demo what is today's date 3009 okay rename so i have changed it to demo 3009 now this is my folder i am showing you how to make your you know project more uh, organized okay so inside a folder i will just create a new file new python 3 so it will create a new file inside this folder new python 3 how you can name this file you can come here and say jupyter demo file so this is the name of the file okay now you can write some python codes here so let me write here print print my demo right print my demo okay and if i run this i will see the output here so what i am doing here now is i am just writing some python commands inside my new file okay now how do i give this file to someone if i have to give this file to someone how do i do that so go to file and say download as in download as you will see many options so let me show you one by one let me download a notebook ipython notebook so if you download a ipython notebook then this file which is downloaded here can directly be imported in python environment okay can direct, directly be imported in that environment so you can see one file is downloaded jupyter file right my jupyter demo file so this file can directly be imported in your jupyter notebook because the extension is .ipynb how to import that file go here and say upload okay in the upload upload this file okay so this file will be uploaded here it will say that do you want to replace because the name is same i do not want to do that let us cancel okay now this is one one way so i i exported a ipython notebook file but sometimes you will want to export a python file itself so go here and say download as python so what it will do is it will give you a .py file now go to your downloads and you will see a .py file okay so this is if you want to give python file to someone what is sometimes you want to give your file to somebody from management or somebody who is who does not want to know much of the coding they just are interested in seeing what you have done top to bottom download an html file so what you can see here an html file is downloaded 
this can be opened in the browser only so if you can see i'm opening this file jupyter demo file.html in the browser only so this is the various ways in which you can export your file and import okay what is there in file you can create a new notebook you can open make a copy save all these things right what i'm interested in showing you is inside the edit okay so inside the edit you will see uh, delete sales if i press this this cell will get deleted similarly if i want to write something new let us say print one and i want to run it then i can say shift enter shift enter will also run this okay then i go inside the delete and i de undo deleted cell so that previous cell will come inside the delete i say move cell up move cell down these things i can do so these things you can do from here or let me show you some shortcuts after some time which will help you in doing so before that what you can do in view you can toggle header toggle cell tool number these are not few these are not the things you will use mostly but whatever i showed you inside edit you will always use in the learning purpose okay insert cell below insert cell above so insert cell below insert cell above so one one cell below that one cell above that right so inside the cell you can run cells run cells and select below run all these are the some of the options you will see here similarly if you want to give some headings right so come here and say my heading and in place of code you change it to heading okay so if you run this it will be my heading suppose you want to put data cleaning code here okay data cleaning starts here okay so these things will make your code more readable guys i hope you are understanding these right so data cleaning code here now all the blocks from here will talk about data cleaning okay similarly you can give different different uh, headings markdown is there and we convert is there so different different ways of writing i can also write some pointers inside here okay so this is one and then comes what is there in some of the shortcuts right so let me show you some of the shortcuts which i use so suppose if i want to insert a cell above this cell i just say a i'm sorry i just say a it will insert a cell above this suppose i want to insert a cell below this i just say b it will insert a cell below this suppose i want to let us let me write a sentence here let us say c is equal to a plus b and then i say print let me give some numbers so that i do not need to assign 10 plus 20 and print c right enter 30 is getting printed now suppose i want to i do not want to put all these sentences in one block i want to make my code more readable hence i want to put it in different block so what will happen control shift and dash it will break from the point wherever your cursor is so the command is control shift and dash okay this is one now suppose let me delete it to bring it to the center of the window suppose you import a package like this import pandas as pd so i go and write here pd dot and then say tab so this tab will give you all the options that pd dot gives you for example you can concate you can read csv write csv all these things right using pd so if i do not know the format or what all pd pd i mean pandas support all these things can be used using a tab so it will give you suggestion another thing i want to show you here is pd dot if you say shift plus tab right so shift plus tab will show you everything about this package actually so if you can see here it says panda gj python package to provide fast and flexible data structure all the details so main features of pandas easy handling of missing data uh, size mutability so everything about pandas it will tell you if you say shift plus tab okay one more thing here is let us say i am writing import panda as pd i am writing print aman okay and i am writing print my next cell okay suppose i want to i want to select multiple cells so i want to run many cells together okay so i just say shift and down arrow so all these three cells are selected now i say run so all these will run similarly if you want to come from the bottom shift and up arrow okay all these three things are selected selected and run okay shift up arrow and shift down arrow okay next thing is suppose 
I do not want to put all these things in different different blocks. I want to put everything together. So what I can do is I can come here and say shift come down and then M. So shift M stands for shift merge. So merge all these three things into one thing. Now how do you split that? I told you already right control shift dash. I want to split this control shift dash. Okay. I want to run everything together shift and select everything shift down arrow select everything either control shift or you can say from here run okay if some command is giving lot of time it is taking it is not giving result you can stop it from here you can move between the cells from using these shortcuts right headings and these things i already told you import export i already told you so these are some of the things that you will need while working with jupyter notebook right so just try all the shortcuts import export those kind of things if you are working with notebook and let me know if you face any issues okay i will come up with another interesting video very soon till then all of you stay safe and take care